guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to share with you some books that I am super excited about. These are all books that are coming out in January of 2020 that I would definitely love to get my hands on and read as soon as possible. So let's get started. There are quite a few books coming out next month that I'm really excited to get into. I've got my laptop here, so let us get into it. So the first book that I have on my list is Woven in Moonlight, and this is by Isabel Ibanez. First of all, it has an incredibly stunning cover, but also the synopsis really intrigued me. This is a book that draws inspiration from Bolivian politics and history. It follows our main character, Zimena, who is a decoy condesa, a stand-in for the last remaining illustrian royal. Her people lost everything when the usurper Atok used an ancient relic to summon ghosts and drive the illustrians from La Cuidad. Now, Zimena is motivated by her insatiable thirst for revenge and her rare ability to spin thread from moonlight. So not only is this a revenge plot, but we have a main character who has very interesting sounding magic, that being the ability to spin thread from moonlight. I definitely wanna find out more about that. It comes out on January 7th. The next book I wanna talk about is Scavenge the Stars. This is by Tara Sim. This also comes out on January 7th. And this is another story about revenge. This is a gender bent retelling of The Count of Monte Cristo. Sounds absolutely amazing. Amaya wants one thing, revenge against the man who ruined her family and stole the life she once had. Probably the book I am most excited about that is coming out next month is Come Tumbling Down by Seanan McGuire. This is the fifth book in the Wayward Children series by Seanan McGuire. It follows these children who found doors to magical worlds, think Narnia or Wonderland, and for whatever reason, they end up coming back to the real world. And some of them, all they want is to go back to that world that was perfectly suited to them. And so in order to cope with reality, they are sent to this school for wayward children, follows them and their adventures. This particular book, Come Tumbling Down, follows two of our main characters, Jack and Jill, which are my favorite characters in the series by far. And it's just a continuation of their, of their story. I cannot wait for this. This is coming out January 7th as well. Next on my list is The Night Country by Melissa Albert. This is the second book to The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, which I read. It is about dark fairy tales and our main character discovering that, that the fictional fairy tale world that her grandmother created might actually be real. I thought that that book was originally going to be a standalone, but this is the second book in the series according to Goodreads. And it is also going to be released on January 7th. I cannot wait for this. The next book on my list comes out on January 14th, and it's one that I've been hearing a lot of buzz about, Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown. So I'm just gonna read you this little part of the synopsis, which says, heavily autobiographical and infused with magical realism, Black Girl Unlimited fearlessly explores the intersections of poverty, sexual violence, depression, racism, and sexism, all through the arc of a transcendent coming of age. So it sounds like it's going to be a little bit intense, but also important. It's one that I've heard a lot of good things about already. And it says that it is a powerful memoir for fans of Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson and American Street by Ibby Zaboy. Also on January 14th is Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey. So I have not been a big romance reader in my adult life, but I read quite a few really great romance books this summer. And one of them, was Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. And this is the next book in that series. In that companion series, this follows a couple that we got introduced to in Fix Her Up and their relationship. They are, they're a married couple, but their marriage is kind of on the rocks. And I think this book is going to be about them trying to fix that. Fix Her Up was so, so, so good. It was a five stars for me. I loved everything about it. Hoping this one will be the same. So we'll see how it goes. I am super excited to read this one though. And hopefully I'll get to it either in January or in February. Next, I have Dark and Deepest Red. This is by Anna Marie McLemore. And I read one other book by her, which was, I think it was Wild Beauty. I loved her writing. It's so beautiful and lyrical. I didn't enjoy the story of that one as much, but I have a lot of her books on my radar. And this is her newest one, which is going to be released on January 14th. And I think this is like a dual timeline. We have 1518 where this dancing fever hits, where people dance uncontrollably and, and basically die from it, which is, which I think is based on something that actually happened in history. 
And then five centuries later, we follow our main character, Rosella, and she comes across a pair of red shoes that seal to her feet and make her dance uncontrollably. I have no idea where that is gonna go, but I'm excited to find out. I really wanna read more of Anna Marie McLemore's works. So this one sounds really, really intriguing to me. And the cover is also absolutely stunning. Okay, so this next book is a retelling of Cinderella, you guys, know how much I love retellings, especially of Cinderella. And this book is Rogue Princess by B.R. Myers. This comes out on January 21st and it is a gender swapped sci-fi retelling of Cinderella. This sounds like it's going to be so much fun. Princess Delia, whose duty it is to choose a prince to marry in order to secure an alliance and save her failing planet, but she wants true love. She steals a spaceship and decides to run away to avoid her fate. But on the spaceship is a stowaway named Aiden who, who escaped on that ship because he might've been trying to uh, steal some things from the palace, but he never expected to be kidnapped by the princess. And it says that they inadvertently uncover a rebel conspiracy that can destroy their planet forever. I feel like this is going to be witty and exciting and I cannot wait. Next we have The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is the third and final book to the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. I've read Truly Devious and The Vanishing Stare. I loved them both. This is a YA mystery series that follows Stevie Bell, who is very good at solving crimes. She wants to be a detective and she ends up at this very prestigious boarding school named Ellingham Academy. For 30 years ago, when the school first opened, there was a kidnapping and murder that took place. It never got solved and she's trying to solve that case while also solving a case that is developed with current events and the two mysteries start mirroring mirroring each other and it has been so so good so far truly devious was definitely one of my favorites this year so i cannot wait to finally wrap up the series and see how everything ends because we kind of ended on a cliffhanger in that second book so I'm definitely excited for when this comes out. So I'm gonna talk about one last book and that is A Queen in Hiding. This is by Sarah Kozlov. So everything about this sounds so amazing to me. This is a new adult fantasy that's gonna be coming out by my favorite publisher, which is Tor Publishing. This is book one of the Nine Realm series. And what's really awesome about this is that each book in this series is gonna be released within a month of each other. So the first book, A Queen in Hiding comes out comes out January 21st and the next book will come out in February and then the third book will come out in March and the fourth one in April. So if this is a book that I end up really loving, I can binge the whole series at the beginning of the year. So that alone sounds awesome. This is a epic fantasy of a ruler coming of age. It has a lot of my bookish buzzwords in the synopsis. In order for Cerulea to transform into the queen she is destined to be, she needs to win the favor of the spirits who play in mortal affairs, assemble an unlikely group of rebels, and wrest the throne from a corrupt aristocracy whose rot has spread throughout her kingdom. That is all I need. I am so excited about this one. It sounds like it's gonna be amazing, but those are all the books that I am super excited about that are all coming out in the month of January. I hope that with this list, you discovered some new books that you're now interested in. And if you did, do let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on any of the books that I mentioned today. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can check out more videos from me in the future. And that is going to be it for today. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.